All right, we got a couple of quotes. We'll break them down for you to uh, to start off the uh, second hour of the program. This got a lot of attention. Kirk Cousins, Minnesota Vikings starting quarterback, was on with Kyle Brandt of Good Morning Football, I believe, on his podcast, uh, the Zoom conversation that they were having. And uh, and Kyle Brandt asked Kirk Cousins about whether or not he was afraid of the coronavirus. Here was one of the quotes that got a lot of play. I want to respect what other people's concerns are. But for me personally, if you're just talking, no one else can get the virus. What is your concern? If you could get it, I I would say I'm, I'm going to go about my daily life. If I get it, I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to let nature do its course. Uh, survival of the fittest kind of an approach and just say, yeah. If it knocks me out, it knocks me out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be okay. Uh, you know, even if I die, if I die, I die. I kind of have peace about that. So that's, that's really where I fall on it. So my opinion, you know, wearing a mask and, and is really about being respectful to other people. It really has nothing to do with my own personal, personal thoughts. I think that's maybe the smartest and healthiest thing we've heard an athlete say publicly at all. If you look at the data, and I'm going to unpack this a little bit more, but first I wanted to give you another quote. Kirk Cousins was also asked on a scale of 1 to 10 how much fear he had for the virus. Here's what he said. On that spectrum, if 1 is the person who says masks are stupid, you are all a bunch of lemmings, and 10 is I'm not leaving my master bathroom for the next 10 years, where do you land? (laughs) I'm not going to call anybody stupid for the trouble it could get me in, but I'm about a point zero 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 one. Yeah. Really? How come? Yeah. You know, I just, uh, I, again, I want to respect what other people's concerns are, but for me personally, if you're just talking, no one else can get the virus. Uh, so there is Kirk Cousins, and I think it's actually the healthiest and the most honest thing that we've heard an athlete say so far about the coronavirus. Now, you guys know, I've been on this for a while, that there is an obsessive fear porn about this virus, which isn't reflective of what the data actually tells us. If you are young and healthy, you have almost a zero chance of dying of the coronavirus. Doesn't mean it can't happen. Doesn't mean that there can't be somebody out there who knew a young and healthy person who got sick and had severe issues, maybe even died, but the data reflects, and I, I, I want to keep hammering this home as we get closer and closer to sports because I do think we're having a positive impact on the way the virus is talked about. If you're 50 or under, you are more likely to die driving to or from your place of work in your car than you are from the coronavirus. If you are a college kid, you are more likely certainly to die driving to or from campus, but you're more likely to be murdered You are more likely to die of the seasonal flu. You are more likely to die of an alcohol or drug overdose. You are more likely to die of suicide. There are any number of things that are more likely to kill you that are a greater danger to your son or daughter if they are enrolled right now on a college campus. And so I give credit to Kirk Cousins for actually coming out and saying, first of all, what he truly believes, which is rare in America today, period, for athletes, but I think for many people in the general public, it's why this show is doing so well, because so many people say so little um, in terms of what they actually believe. But he's also statistically right. Now, I'm sure that there was a lot of criticism, but he also said, look, like I went to go see a movie last night. I went to go see Tenet in an IMAX theater third straight week that I've been in a movie theater and I wore a mask because they make you wear a mask to go into the movie theater. It's not because I feel threatened or feel like it's necessary. I do it because that's the rule, but I went and watched the movie. I'll talk about it when I come back. Really interesting, mind-blowing movie in the first place, but I agree with everything that Kirk Cousins just said there and props to him for saying what he actually believes as opposed to what he thinks he should say. 